Hello, my friends. It's time to tackle the June flower of the month, the rose. And I say tackle because there are as many ways to paint roses as there are variety of roses, I imagine. And I'll tell you now, roses are not easy. Um, I'm going to try to keep it real simple today and do an abstract one, but um, I'm not really an abstract painter, so it's a challenge for me. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I tried one already, and these are the colors I'm using, and I didn't like it. I got almost all the way through, and I just did not like it. I didn't want to share that video, so I'm going to try again. I hosed it off and starting over. First, let me show you some roses that I have painted in the past, um, just to give you an idea of the variety that are possible. This first one, this was done in oils, and this was painted in 2018, I believe. And I really love this painting. It was a lot of work, as you can imagine. Um, this is a white rose, but look at all the colors that are in there. It's uh, was quite the challenge to paint, but I'm very happy with it. This one is one that I am keeping. I really miss oil painting, and I should. I'm going to go ahead and make an announcement now. Um, I'm going to retire my YouTube channel in November when I reach my milestone birthday of 70. Uh, I, I really want to get back to other forms of painting. I enjoy fluid art, but it's keeping me from doing other things that I like as well. So I'll continue making videos until then, and, and my uh, channel will still be available, but I just won't be adding anything to it after November. So that's that. Um, here's another one. This was also done in oils. Now this one I did in 2015, and honestly I haven't really painted much in oils since, uh, in probably five years, and I miss it. So that's one of the reasons that I'm changing my um, my work. <laughs> uh, this is a different type of rose. It's kind of, it's not realism, um, but it's a cross between realism and a stroke rose. and. I took a class to learn how to paint this, this type of rose, and it was a three-day seminar, and I wasn't very good at the end of it, but I, um, she had said that to be good at roses, you need to paint one every day, and I tried for about uh, three months. I did paint a rose every day, and I did see great improvement, but again, it's been years since I've painted like this, and I want to get back to it. I don't think I could paint that now if I tried. <laughs> uh, I also enjoy color pencil. This is a color pencil. We call it painting because it, you know, if you were to look at that, you might think it was a painting. This was a class I took from Nilda Rodriguez, the online painting school. And um, this was probably only about my fourth color pencil drawing. And I liked it a lot and I want to do more color pencil. And now we're getting to the easier ones. Um, oh, let's see, maybe this one. This is kind of, uh, this is acrylics. All the rest of these are acrylics. This is kind of a realism one. I'm going to keep it to the side and kind of follow the shape of this on today's um, painting. And most of these are available on my website, crazypaints.com. And I have done two other rose uh, embellishment tutorials. Just check my embellishment playlist. Um, simple ones. One was a little more complicated. One was super simple. And today we'll be somewhere in between those two. Uh, this one, I just loved this background. thought it was so pretty and um, decided to add this one on there. I believe that. I'm sure that's acrylics. But um, that was kind of fun. And then it's a similar but a little looser style. This is sim close to what we'll be doing today, I hope. Again, acrylics on a fun background, flip cup. And then 
lastly, this was quite easy. This was a, um, I think I did a balloon smashes kind of in a circular. It was probably a latch, last ditch effort. It probably was a fail. And then I just ended up going around and uh, spiral like, and it looked kind of like a flower to me. So then I went back in and um, added these petally shapes around, round, got uh, more and more abstract with them. And then I did dress it up with some water drops, which I think are fun. I have a tutorial on water drops if you're interested. You can find all of those in my embellishment playlist. But let's, let's get to today. So uh, let me zoom in here. I think that works and hopefully you can see the palette. I have here white, Cad Yellow Deep, Cad Orange, Cad Red Light, Grumbacher Red, I'm using Grumbacher paints, um, Deep Violet, Cad Yellow Light, Thalo Green. And I did have some black here, but I used it up. Let me, let me get some of that, hold on. I like to mix yellow and black for my greens. There we go. And I think I might need some more of this Cad Yellow Deep. Because I wasn't real happy with the, the yellow and the, um, the Cad Yellow Light and the black. Just didn't make a very pretty green. It was, But this was nice, so I'll put some of this here too. Okay. All right. So, the thing to remember when painting a rose, the way I'm going to tackle it, is round. Round shape, the petals are tight in the middle and they get looser as it opens up and it's darker in the center and lightens up as, as you go outward. Um, and I'm going to work from dark to light. That's not always the way um, I paint a rose, but in this case, that's what I'm going to try. I'm using these nice global art brushes. I really like them, but a, a similar um, brush that I bought at Michael's, similar in um, quality, and I found it works nicely, is this one by Langnickel. I don't know if they sell these anymore. They might. I haven't bought brushes in some time because I have an obscene amount of them. It's a silver handle, so you may have seen that. You may have some, but that I think that maybe I'll work with both of them. This is a little bigger and we can compare, but I'm going to start with this one. So here we go. I'm going to wet my uh, brush and wipe off the excess and uh, I'm going to start just by blocking in some of this violet and Rumbacher red. Maybe even a touch of black. Can you see my palette? I hope you can. Maybe a touch of black to make a very dark red. And I'm going to just... Slip slap, dark in the center there. Bam. All right, then I'm gonna dry, just dry wipe my brush. That means pinch it between the paper towel, but I'm not washing it off in water, so there's still paint in there. Um, now I'm gonna go and go a little lighter. Maybe just the, the violet and the red without the black and it's not much lighter. Maybe I'll go into the orange, the, more of this, or some of this. I haven't done that yet, have I? The red and the uh, red, cad red light. Yeah, that's better. And just expand. And the further back you hold it on the, the handle, the more loose you can be. 
and that is a challenge for me. I'm, you know, I've, I've learned how to paint painting realism, and so I'm very tight, and so it's hard for me to branch out <laughs> and paint abstractly. This is a challenge for me. I'm going to darken up that part there again. So my rose is kind of, um, this will be what, I guess, I can't think what you call it, the throat, where the petals are tightly wound, like that. And then the outer part, um, the outer petals are opened up and lighter in color. All right. Pinch dry wipe the brush. Uh, now I'm going to go into the... I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Mostly this uh, cad red. Now I could be mixing with a palette knife, but I love brush mixing. And now I'm going to start building up some petals. I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of... Uh, Circular motion just suggest some petals, and let me show you the kind of what I'm doing is um, starting on the chisel edge and then flatten and then up again. That's kind of my petal shape. And it might be better had I dried this background before I continued. Oh, these colors, I think, are pretty transparent. Maybe I better add a little white to it. It's fun to work wet on wet, but it's also a challenge. get lighter as I go out and larger petals Yellow, white, I still have orange in my brush. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about where the sun is coming from. <laughs> this is abstract. I don't want it too, too round. I'm going to go outside my initial um, block in. Looks a little square. I'm going to round, round that up a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. 
and just add some greenery. Then I'm going to come back and work on that some more. Not, not to fear. Not to worry. All right, let's um, go into. Let's mix some green with brush mix. In fact, let's use this brush. Try this out. So, some yellow, a little black, and you can see it makes an. It makes a nice green, but I want it a little brighter than that, so I'm going to go into that yellow. Maybe even a bit of white, or a lot of white. Let's see if it shows up on here. Okay. I just want some leafy shapes, so I'm not going to worry about or suggestions of leaves. I'm not worried that you know they're they look real. Kind of squiggle them in. That was a weird one, but I kind of like it. <laughs> you know what? I, I it's so weird. I like it. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna mess these up. I'm gonna change those up a little bit. Maybe another one here. That's kind of a fun leaf. Let me do that a little darker. You kind of just press your flat brush down, and then kind of lift it up. Do another one there. Boom. Squiggle and lift. Let's darken that a little bit. Try to fix this this thing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, um, I think I would be wise to dry this. I'm gonna pause and hit this with a hair dryer before I continue. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's a little, um, it's pretty dry. It's a little wet where I went thick with the paint, but I think it's, I think we can get back to it. Now, most of these colors are semi-transparent, so I think I need to, you can see the background through there. Uh, I don't mind a little transparency, but um, I don't want to see that. So I need to add white. The only opaque colors I have are black and white. So um, I'm going to add white. So uh, first we're going to continue. Let's see, I'll pick up some white in my brush. And we'll go into this dark. And just make some cute little shapes in here. Getting a little lighter as we head out. I'm winking it, my friends. I I haven't planned this very well. Uh, I'm gonna do a big. It's kind of a spiral. That's what I'm doing. White. Okay. 
that's looking better. I'm not going to worry about where the light source is coming from. That's not for this abstract thing. Okay, now I'm going to start getting larger. I like that. Just see how when you take the light into the dark, like right there, it really adds um, depth. And that would be like, you know, you're looking straight down on the petal. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, I'm happier with this one than I was with the last one. Let me tell you, I should have I saved it and shown it to you. It was terrible. But, you know, I'm, I can't do that. Keep in mind, um, I have been painting for years. Roses are the most, I think, the most difficult of all the flowers, but they're so beautiful. I just enjoy painting them a lot. And I'm not unhappy with the way this is coming along. All right, I'm getting lighter and lighter and wider and wider with the petals. Big one here. You know, that looks a little too same old, same, same, same. So I've, I've got to change that up. What shall I do? Maybe I'll. wiggle it a little bit to reshape it. I um, It's okay in here, but on the outer ones, I want the petals to be differently shaped. And color. I don't like those two that are the same color side by side. Bring a little, I accidentally did, but I brought a little green into it, and that's okay. In fact, bring some of the uh, flower color into the and the leaves is okay. All right, back to this. I don't like that one, that big old one. Got to fix that somehow. Let's see. Maybe I'll go into the green. No, I don't like that either. Maybe I just need to, uh, I'll, I'll go over it with another petal, different color, overlap it. A very, very light one, here we go.
That was a little better. Not great. But I'm going to move on. I can't I can't stay on one like that or I'm going to mess it mess up what I do like. And here I go. Back again. All right, what else should I do? Maybe lighten up some of the petals. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm running out of paper towel here. Uh, I'll make some pink. Just gonna highlight some of these. Just dabs of color, not really repeating the same um, uh, brush strokes. It was a little too um, uniform. I was trying to keep it simple, my friends, but I, I can't. <laughs> Roses are not simple. getting bigger, <laughs> but that's okay. And a very wise painting teacher once told me when you think you're done, go back and darken your darks and lighten your lights. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's almost a good. And I'm I'm using techniques from um, realism. I wanted to stay away from that. It's just hard. It's hard to do. It's hard to train, retrain yourself. Um, I got it. I have so much green on here. I'm really changing up the the leaves, but who cares? Oh my friends, I've got a terrible attitude. I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you this video. I I I'm not going to redo it again <laughs> again. And I told you my big announcement, so um, yeah, I'm going to go even lighter. 
on these very outer petals. did I do there? That's better. Abstract, Chris. Try to be abstract. That's what I should have done, just dab on um, bars of color everywhere, because I kind of like that. Abstract, trying to keep it abstract. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there. I don't know. Are you looking at this upside down or not? I don't know. Um, I think I'll probably be able to upload it like this, but you get the picture. Okay, my friends, thank you for hanging in with me if you did. <laughs> and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>